the U.S. 1953. Puerto Rico. Met my mom in 65, yeah, they had me. Now I'm here to sing this song just for you. Hope you like it, cause you know I love it too. In the Bronx, New York, yeah, that's where I was born. Singing, dancing, day and night, and oh so strong. In the project, struggling through thick and thin. All I know is when I write, it comes with it. Hello, hello, this is Miss Mimi Johnson, the hey, arts reporter. People. Hey, and... Hey, the Teen Arts Reporter, where we focus on arts, inspiration, entrepreneurs, and inspirational life stories. That's right. So look, um, today is uh, a really laid back episode. Yes, it is. But we have Shawnette Sapp with us. Okay, she um, is one of the owners of uh, Sashi Hair and mm -hmm. also uh, Pink Sapphire. Uh, she's an events coordinator. And um, she uh, really focuses a lot of awareness on um, uh, the cure for breast cancer, mm -hmm. raising awareness, and also um, raising money. And she's got like fabulous uh, people that she works with. So um, we are going to see Charnette in a little while. A shout out to all of the Sap family. Ooh, I was just see. online with one of, uh, I, I believe it was her sister, um, talking about she was going to go uh, to one of the other Saps. And they were going to go and hang out. Yeah. And she was like, do you think I'm going to get any sleep? And I was like, no, because um, one thing I know about the Sap family is that they're really hard workers, mm -hmm. um, but they love to have a lot of fun. And so I love hanging out with it. them. Yeah. So anyway, um, we've got some um, some shows coming up. So, um, OK, August 17th. And I'm hoping your mom will let you come and play with my band, The Triple Threat. Um, August 16th, Friday, I'm going to be at our place, MimiJohnsonLive.Eventbrite.com. Get your tickets. We have vending available, and we also have our show brochure available, like a playbill. Mm -hmm. um, and we're almost, we're almost full with all of our advertisers. Um, we, we still have tickets for sale and we still have vending space available. Um, so that's August 16th. Our Place Cafe is at, um, eight, is at 3387 Main Street in College Park, Georgia. So um, it's for the entire family. It was it just was adults, a grown folk. It? Yeah. it was just, but then I had like four of my fans like, there's never a place that I can't go when I go to see you where I can't bring my children. What are you doing? So I thought about it. <laughs> and well, I, you know, I, I love that though, because now I'm reaching different markets. I'm reaching the children and I'm reaching mm -hmm. their parents, and also they bring their parents, the grandparents. Yeah, it's your whole family. Yeah, so um, you're, everyone is welcome to come. We have a menu, it's up all you can eat buffet. So if you want to know more about what the menu is, um, log on to Mimi Johnson live.eventbrite.com, get your tickets. Um, we have like little packages going on for VIP, the buffet, um, some some beverages and stuff like that. So it's going to be really nice. Mm -hmm. I will be singing my entire heart out. Woo my yes. entire heart. Every I will time be you go on stage, every time you leave it all on the stage. Every I do. time. I do. I leave that heart right there, don't I? Yes, you do. I we love it. it. <laughs> this is beautiful, guys. It's beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> And coming from, uh, you know, a young lady in your generation, that means a lot to me because it simply means that um, I that I am not only loved by my generation, that I'm loved mm -hmm. by your generation as well. And I think that that's really important for artists like myself because we want to touch the younger generation as well. So we I put a lot of fun in mm -hmm. my in my music so that you can um enjoy my music at your age and also you know your mama yes she's a great hey, role april model. <laughs> she's a great role model yeah yes. yeah yes. your mom 
your mom um, is up sometimes until two, three o'clock in the morning posting um, for for mm -hmm. your uh, for your endeavors for um, your your brothers that are very oh, yeah. ex they are they are exceptional as well. Mm -hmm. I mean, um, I I never saw a, a couple like your mom and dad that have three exceptional children all at the same time. Like usually there's one that's exceptional, okay, they move out. Then you get another one that's exceptional, okay, and then they move out, and then the last baby, exceptional, okay, and then and they go to college, you know, they're all, and then, but at all at the same time, I know she gets so overwhelmed sometimes, because she's oh, like, yeah. oh my God, they, they just got an honor for this, and you know, and so, mm -hmm. and it's, and y'all are always working. Yeah, she's I'm, always running around. I'm I'm loving all it. The time. We're Before, always going places. Yes, yes. She barely gets any days off where she just gets to rest. So you, when she does, it's just perfect for her. Yes. She just loves that rest time. We're gonna she do takes it in. We're gonna do a spa day, April and I. We're gonna do a spa day. Yep. Well with, with, with Jasmine. Yes. Uh, we'll do it with your the, I'll bring my daughter and okay, then that yes. way we'll have our we'll have a, a mother and daughter day. So you could not invite me in front of all these people. Of you know, I got witnesses. <laughs> I got witnesses. Y'all. Yes. You have to. You are definitely invited. Most definitely. Yes. So um so we'll we'll uh, get our nice budget together because that's gonna be mm -hmm, a yes. couple of hundred thousand yes. dollar day. No, <laughs> in the back, She's partying in the back already. <laughs> and um okay, so um I just gotta give a shout out to Natural Hair Quest, my um hair stylist, stylist Iokeisha Smith. Um just, oh yeah she's yeah good. she she does an incredible job on my hair, keeping me in order. Now we have um Minister Kendall Richardson's walk yes, coming up. Seventh annual youth the Christian Youth AIDS Walk is September 14th, which is a couple of months away. It'll be coming quicker than you think. Mm -hmm. And for more information about that, you can go to www.7thAnnualYouthAidsWalk.webs.com. Yes. And also, you can get tested for HIV AIDS, and you text your zip code to know it, which is 566948. And you can find any testing site in your area. Yeah. Bam, you can get tested like that, and it's so important too. It is. Let's um, let's just go over um, some the CDC reports real quick for face the facts for the trends in Dallas County from 2002 to 2010. 2010. The rates um, could be higher. Yeah, this it now. probably, hopefully not, yeah. but. It could you never know. know, but let's just do, let's just report a little bit on um, some of the facts for HIV. All right, guys, the CDC reports that one in four new HIV infections is mm -hmm. youth thirteen through twenty four, which is that's my age, like my age group that starts. Our youth HIV pandemic is one thousand infections monthly from thirteen to twenty five in the United States alone. Mm. Mm. CDC reports that approximately 47,000 are infected with HIV every year with young people under age 24 accounting for 26% of new infections. Mm. There are 50,000 new HIV infections each year and 17,000 deaths from AIDS yearly in the U.S. 18, ages 13 to 25, which is the highest increase from 70% from okay. homosexual men. That's a lot. Yeah. Guys. It's, From it's my age, like thirteen to twenty-five. Come on now. So, that's so that's why um, Minister Kendall Richardson. He's at Facebook. M um, I N Richardson. Um, he mm, he he presented this uh, youth walk. This is his seventh annual. So this is his seventh year. And um, he was here in Atlanta, and I worked with him very very closely for his walks to. Um, of course, advertise and promote. Um, so September 14th in Dallas, Texas, um, and Fort Worth area, uh, okay. Texas. So for more information, again, what's the website? www.7thAnnualYouthAidsWalk.webs.com. Okay. And we got um, Diva JC, my beautiful mother. Hi, she is back from Switzerland and Ooh. Europe. She just had her a great time what? in Italy. She got to give Quincy Jones her book, uh, 
a history of African American jazz and blues. She interviewed Quincy Jones um, 20 years ago what? in the same building in Montreux. And um, log on to uh, joancartwright.com. Yes, my mother's oh, yes. extraordinary. Yes, she you know, is. You, 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 you know, people are like, wow, you're like so um, fabulous. Well, it's my, my I get mama. it from my mama. My mama. You know, okay. my dad, my dad is, is very influential and he's mm -hmm. like yeah. real groovy. Now, Peter Serrano, he ain't no slouch. Mm -hmm. yes, yeah, yes. he's 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 the, he's a great asset. Uh, uh, concerned citizens in the South Bronx, he has an organization. Okay. Uh huh. Okay. And so it's both of my parents are are exceptional people. And when people so when people say, "Oh, you so this and you mm -hmm. so that," I'm like, "Honey, I don't take none of the okay. glory. I give all the glory to God." And then That's then amazing. my parents just you know they groomed. Uh, my brother and I to be the best people that we could be and as mm -hmm. entrepreneurs we've learned to be leaders and not followers also yes I don't care what anyone says do not tell me to break a leg anymore words are powerful oh back in the day that's what they used to say well this is the new age here yeah, Tell me please. to be blessed on stage yeah. because I think in a way words are so powerful. Mm -hmm. So please don't tell me to break a leg. Yeah, I, what you say. That's Come followers. On. I'm not a cow in a mm -hmm. herd. I am my own individual person that yeah. is a mentor and a leader, and I just don't like you it when people no tell legs? me to break a leg. Oh, well, it's mm. just a figure of speech. Well. Care. Yeah, no, I don't know. I, I don't. I don't. I don't. I never liked that either. My parents say like, no luck, it's blessings, you know, stuff like that. Break a leg, no. No, no just you. give me my no, blessings. Tell me to have a great show, which you know we yes. already gonna have yes, a great show anyway, because it's what yes. we do. <laughs> this is what we do. Well, this is the life. Yeah. <laughs> about the life, okay? Yeah. So, um, and and for those of you, you know, from back in back in the day, the old school, you know, I understand. I understand, you know, and thank you so much. And I know that you mean well, so mm -hmm. we'll take it as you mean well. Um, but for the most part, um, be blessed. I don't, so I don't, much. I don't want to break a leg. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta do. Simple like I gotta that. get my dance on and and get oh, my yes. theater on and, <laughs> and sing with the band and act and I uh, can't be breaking nothing. Mm -mm. Um, all right, and then we got a plug. Um, Carlotta, yeah, Carlotta and Dre, yeah. Yes, okay, so Mark Square Studio is where we had the carousel. They have all kinds of plays. The carousel was great, by the way. Yeah, it was. Sold it was. out. Sold out show. Yes, I was so happy. We were so happy when yeah. you heard that. <laughs> Sold out. It was so great. It was so inspirational. People loved it. It was nice to see it again and do it again and be on stage again and yeah. just shine. So that was great. And they host a lot of plays. They do. It's great for rehearsal spaces, mm -hmm. for workshops. Mm -hmm. For They have a black box theater. They have a video photo studio, a green screen. They actually have like art exhibits up yes. around the place, which is really nice. An industry roundtable so you can have conferences or whatever you need yeah and their address is 3550 clarkston industrial boulevard at studio h in clarkston georgia 30021 and you can contact them at www.marksquaredatl.com mm -hmm. they're great space great people great yeah. space everything I'm going. Right. I'm going there this evening after our show um, to do a photo shoot with Rimshot Urban oh. Musical. Yeah, because we're on our way to DC. Um, oh yeah, that's right. It's not August yet. Tomorrow's August. Tomorrow, yes. And so um, the twenty third, we are performing in DC for um, Rimshot Urban Musical, and then I'll be mm -hmm. on my way to New, New York. York. For your audition tour. Yeah, yes. I met this fabulous Broadway vet, Elaine. Holloman Perry. She worked, she saw me perform and said, I got some contacts for you, girl. You are a show woman. Yes. You belong on Broadway. And I I'm read like, that on your Facebook. I really I like, want to yes. go. So uh, contacts like that, shout out to Miss Elaine. Thank you so much for Mm, just complimenting me on my, uh, I was singing for um, a 50th anniversary for the Hollomans. See, look, uh, that yeah. was a divine opportunity. Yeah. That was meant to happen. Look and, at that. Yeah. Look at God. 
Okay. A young lady um, saw me in Miami, saw me perform, and she asked me to um, come and perform for the anniversary. So um, I do have to give a shout out, um, you know, because I, I think that when we um, influence people and they, they'll, they'll remember you years and years and years and years. Okay. That was years yeah. ago. It had yeah. to be like two or three years ago. Yeah. And so... Um, Thank you so much for booking me, um, and I got a chance to meet Miss Miss Perry, uh, Mrs. Perry. That she's gonna give me contacts when I get to New York for agents and producers and directors. I know. Yes. I'm 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 really amazed um, at how I met this lady, and she's like, "Oh, I was doing it in the '70s," and mm -hmm. I was like, "Oh my God!" I was like a five year old hanging oh. on to her every word. <laughs> Because she had already experienced yeah. where I want to go, mm -hmm. where that's I'm big. going, yeah, where I'm going. Yes. Yeah. So um, shout out to Miss Elaine and um, the Hollowmans. That's huge. Um, all right. So look, um, we're going to talk about Trayvon as well. And we're going to talk about the, some of the situations that are happening. We got Steve Moore. Uh, in the Common Sense Corner. Mm -hmm. So we're going to go to a commercial break. Um, you're logged on to MimiJohnson.net, the arts reporter, your arts reporter, where we focus on arts, entertainment, entrepreneurs, and inspirational life stories. Every Wednesday, it goes down right here at 7 p.m. So we'll be right back right after these messages. Mwah. There is nothing 
Okay. How y'all doing? This is the Arts Reporter, your Arts Reporter, Miss Mimi Johnson. You're tuned in to MimiJohnson.net. Ooh, where we focus on arts, entertainment, entrepreneurs, and inspirational life stories. I have got one of my, I don't know, you're like so exceptional. You're like one of my favorite people to be on to our TV. Well, thank you. As far as our, you know, I love my cast. But as far as our guest and my co-host, you know, when you come on, Seanette Sapp. How you doing? Seanette Sapp Hicks. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> right. Wait a minute. Let, Mr. Let, Hicks, you, Let's ow. roll it back. Say it again. I am here with one of my most favorite people. <laughs> Seanette Sapp Hicks. Yes. How you doing? Oh, I'm excited to be here as always. Yes. Oh, I had such an awesome summer. Yeah, yeah. I mean, just think school starts in two weeks. Of course, not for me, but, you know, for the kids and that whole routine starts up. Where, yes. You know, life is different. You um, have less freedom. Of course. Uh -huh. Of course. So all summer long, we've been going on trips. We went to New York yes. to see my cousin. Um and, and other family members there. Um, we went to San Diego, and I hadn't been home in eight years. So it was exciting for me to be home. Okay. Um, San Diego is like the most beautiful place to be. Um, imagine going outside. I mean, I know this is simple, but imagine going outside and not having to worry about mosquitoes. Oh, that was that's like great. innocent. <laughs> Yeah, especially I mean, just, in the summertime. Yes, like just, you know, you could just wear whatever and not, yes. no bug spray. You know, you just go outside and enjoy it. Um, and I forgot about that feeling of just, you know, just being outside and not sweating as soon as you walk outside. Okay. Right, so we were there for about eight days. Yes. And I wanted to stay. <laughs> and normally, you know, like when people go on vacation, they kind of lose weight because they're doing so much. Yes. Well, I gained weight while I was on vacation because... I ate yes. and ate and ate and I don't know if for those of you that are watching and listening, <laughs> if you haven't had rolled tacos with guacamole uh. in San Diego, you've never experienced it. Okay, so so what's in that? So basically they take homemade tortillas and that's that's one of the best aspects about eating Mexican food in San Diego. All of the stuff is fresh products, yes, right? Yes, yes. So it's not tortillas that have been shipped from point A to point B and sitting on the shelf for like weeks. You know, these are fresh products. So fresh tortillas, um, corn tortillas, and they either have um, beef or chicken yeah. inside and they roll them and they fry them. And then after that, then it's all kind of wonderful toppings. Like, but the best topping, of course, is lots and lots and lots of guacamole. Yes, <laughs> I love guacamole. <laughs> and then my sister call herself getting fancy and putting like carne asada on top of it. Mm. So like, oh my gosh. Okay. So anyway, but it was good, right? Um, so I, I promise you, I think I ate Mexican food. Um, at least every day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and the hotel we stayed in had free breakfast, so we ate breakfast every day. Okay. So I ate and ate and ate and gained weight. But the good thing about San Diego, you walk a lot. So we did walk and get exercise, but I don't think that my um, eating leveled out with my exercise it didn't balance okay no. so now you have to get some cardio done you have to get yes. here and yes. that's fine and that's yes. fine but but you yes. enjoyed your vacation yeah so okay um so your mother your 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 mother is in san diego my mother and i have two sisters okay I mean, a sister and a brother that live in san diego okay um and so we just had a good time family friends old neighbors that I haven't seen in ages. Yes. So we did that, came back, and then we rounded off the summer vacation in St. Augustine. Oh. And I love St. Augustine, the yes. oldest city in the United States. Um, my grandmother lives there. And I don't know if I've ever told you this, but my grandmother was a jazz singer. Really? Yes. What's her name? Debbie Moore. Debbie Moore. Mm -hmm. Okay, because Joan Cartwright might know her. She might. And actually, yes, because she was a singer in New York. Okay. Right? Like, that's where she, you know, got her stardom in uh -huh. New York. Um, so I saw my grandmother, and even at 85, she's still as feisty as she wants to well, be. Well, you know. Like, she's still diva. Yeah, she is still diva. <laughs> yes. She is still diva. Grandma going to be diva till the wheels fall off. You already <laughs> That's know. That's so true. That's yeah. so true. 
so yeah we had a great time in saint augustine um with my like great aunt my grandmother you know all the family tons of saps yes in saint augustine yes like, that's really like both of my parents were born and raised in saint augustine okay and both sides of my you know grandparents were both born and raised in saint augustine also okay so yeah that's that's our roots what went on in nyc girl <laughs> so in new york right so um, my first cousin, LaShawns, is mm -hmm. an, an actress. Mm -hmm. um, she does Broadway. So we were in NYC celebrating with her there and having a good time. Okay. Oh, that was fun, of course, and being out around all of her star-studded friends uh -huh. and doing that thing. So. And I think I ate a lot there. Okay, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. New York's got great food. Uh, New York's got great food because all of the authentic people that are coming from the international countries coming in, they're bringing that genuine, authentic food mm -hmm, with them mm -hmm, coming in. Mm -hmm. So New York has got the most authentic people. Yes. Um, and a nice, diverse group of people. Their Chinese food, it, it's, it's almost like being in China. Mm -hmm. when you eat the Chinese food up in New York. I mean, because they, they're like one generation away from, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yes. It's like they, they, yes. they ain't even speaking English yet. That's true. Yeah, because they, 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 very authentic, um, diverse cultures mm -hmm. in New York. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. So, um, now, so you visited with your cousins Cousin. and visit with my mom my yeah. sister my grandmother so we we Good. got it in. we definitely got it in this summer That's and wonderful. now i'm back yes and i'm on the mimi johnson show yeah i'm loving it well honey let me tell you something i was looking forward to it i was like oh i got shornette coming in next week let me get ready for her <laughs> um here. yeah sashi 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 and look at me you're looking great. No Sashi in my hair today. Oh. But you know, everyone loved the show that we did last time. Yes. And and they were like, oh my gosh, you guys talk about blending of hair. Blend. That was blending of people. Like everyone loved the chemistry between the three of us for that last show. Yes. I'm still getting comments. That's good. Always. Like, it's archived. It. So it's it. there. It's fresh and new every time. Yes. So Sashi is doing great. Good. Um, I don't have Sashi in my hair. This is all me today. Um, oh, okay. Yeah. You ain't wearing no, but you know what? So you don't wear weave a lot? No, not all the time. Yeah, okay. But you don't have anybody else's hair in your hair because it would be Sashi's Sashi. hair. Yes. Okay. It's so, either me or Sashi. Uh-huh. Okay. And when I put my Sashi hair on, girl, it's like a whole transformation. And then them lashes, girl, I know nobody <laughs> can't tell you what to do. Your poor husband, he's probably like I'm, I'm carrying Please. around a dog on. Now, when uh, people see him, <laughs> I know. Oh God, he How is a tower, it. he is a tower. <laughs> and we did, remember we did Step and Repeat at one of the shows. We did Step and Repeat at one and, of the uh, theater shows. The one in Roswell. And I was like, come on. And he was like, are you sure? And the closer he got, I was like, oh. He was gonna have to bend over. <laughs> he had to bend down just to take the picture. Yes. <laughs> or we would have, and we had on our high heels, heels. But it did not matter. This no. man is clearly close to seven feet tall. He is six foot seven. Yeah, yeah, and he, uh, but he is such, um, has such a peaceful um, aura right. about him, Mr. Hicks. Yes, Mr. Hicks. <laughs> yeah, he has to be right. You yeah, know, the big guy because you know he he stands out. Right, and I never really understood it. Like I, me, I'm five four. Mm -hmm. And, you know, life is great. But when I think about him, I take for granted the fact that I can sit anywhere I want anywhere, to sit. Anywhere. And so he we're, can't. When we're on the plane, I'm just booking tickets. Like, okay, oh. booking seats. But he's like, no, 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 no. So there's criteria. Yes. I either need to be in the exit row mm -hmm. or first class. Yes. And, and when I am on the exit row, I have to be on the aisle because is it the right knee or the left knee the left knee needs to be out okay from the football injury yes 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 <laughs> oh, yes like, okay but, but hey, for me i'm like i just book a flight 
Right. And book a seat. But, you know, there are challenges with being tall, like that short people like myself take for granted. <laughs> but well, I'm because okay you don't it. know, but of course you accommodate. Oh, most definitely. Of course you accommodate. He, You know, I mean, and big, big, for me, uh, if I had a husband that was, well, actually my Glenn Johnson was, it was six, six. Oh, so he yeah, was six, six. Tall. Uh huh, and um, I had to accommodate him in many kinds of ways as well. I'm five six. I'm you know, but I'm not as short like you and your husband are like this and this. Like <laughs> Glenn and I were like this. And this. We, we could you know, but it, but it's okay. Um, but yes, he was so tall that a lot of times we had to make other accommodations to make sure yes. that he was comfortable. Right. You know, and that's right. cool. That's cool. Right. Our tall husbands. And, and some Rest people in like me, you know, I can be in a crowd and, and it's great and no one may or, or people may or may not notice me. But for him, wherever we go, they notice he's always noticed. Yes. Always stopped. Always asked ridiculous questions about his height and his size and his this and his that. So, I mean, I understand how it can be for him, mm -hmm. and, and I am sympathetic to that. Yeah. But I still kind of take for granted the fact that I'm only 5'4". Right. <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. Um, just just think, um, you know, Sashi Sashi, log on to SashiHair.com, yes. is going to be a mega billion dollar business, and then he yes. can just um, get a jet plain custom made <laughs> and you gotta worry about that no more that's right because sashi hair is doing wonderful things um and yes. we are of course the only black company that has a presence in chennai india yes right so the fact that we are able to um cross i would say the the color line in mm -hmm. india um is a wonderful factor for mm -hmm. us um, and it allows for certain doors to be open mm -hmm. that are not open for other people. Okay. Um, we were actually approached by um, someone that's Indian, that's a beauty supplier um, in Florida for us to help supply him with our product. Good. Right? But I'm, my thought, he's Indian. Why not go straight to India? Well, because of the relationship that our CEO has mm -hmm. in India, mm -hmm. we're we're privy to the top ten echelon of hair okay. quality. So yes, there's different le grades of hair that come out of India, mm -hmm. but we get grade A hair. Yeah, because of our CEO's relationship in India. Okay. I'm mean, like when I just think about that, I mean it's phenomenal. Yeah. Right? And so, you know, there there's been an upswing and a downswing with Indian hair. Mm -hmm. Um, and you know, people buy it and then they get burnt because when it comes time to replenish, they're sent bad hair. Okay. Well, when someone purchases from us, we always will have that premium hair okay. because we have a presence in Chennai, India. Okay. And it's fabulous. Yeah, yeah. When are you going there? Um, well, I don't know. Okay. Right? And when you go, uh, I have my passport, so I want to go too. Okay. Okay, so that that's, that's really perfect. that's, that's perfect. really where I was trying to go with that. <laughs> yes. Yes. I think that'll be awesome. Yeah, yeah. Um okay, so mm -hmm. So when I think about, you know, all of the hard work that goes into making sure that this is a successful company, mm -hmm. you know, it's all worth it when I think about the fact that my CEO, yes, he is my first cousin, but he's someone that I definitely want to learn from. Okay. Right? So he's been a C-level employee for I don't know, decades, mm -hmm. right? And so to have someone like that as my CEO, it just makes me feel, you know, the desire to work harder yes. and smarter every single day. Yes. You know, and not slack up. Yes. So I love it. Yes. And I, I wish I had a cousin like that. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, I'm someone else's cousin. And they're like, oh, my cousin, <laughs> she's blowing up. And I'm like, you need to come over here and help me in this office. <laughs> That's right. And you sent out a couple emails. Yeah, I you know, and you 
Can you um at least post my post, post, yes. post my post Mimi Johnson net five times a day yes. at your uh, uh, Facebook page. Um, but um, your cousin and you and your family, because your family is just extremely exceptional anyway. Um, yeah, Thank I mean, I, I know, I know that you have um, even going back to your grandmother, Mother. who is a jazz vocalist. Yes. So you know, and and, and so it, it's genetics. It's it's you're supposed to be fabulous. Hey, it's, I love it. It's what you it's are. In my genes. That's the sap genes <laughs> slash Hicks. <laughs> Well, genetically, this it's is all sap. sap. <laughs> right. The children, though, now you've made some children, children. and they're, yeah. uh, say, they that's that a mix. bug. They and they, and they got, girl, I know they just, I know they incredible. Well, you know what? My daughter is 4'10". Okay. She's 8. Oh, okay, okay. Well, look at Daddy. Oh, I know that, but you know, and I think about it, and I keep <laughs> thinking about it. And I'm like, but she's eight. Yeah, but look and at she's Daddy. Four, ten. She's gonna be tall. Yeah. And don't you have a son? Yes, my son. Um, he's six. Oh. And it seems like whenever the summer comes, he grows like two sizes. Uh huh. That's what they do. So he's six years old, and he wears a size sixteen in clothes. Yeah. Go figure. <laughs> yeah. So I'm going to be the smallest thing in the house. You will. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I'll probably, you know, get on my little stool and give them a spanking when they get out of line because I'm still mama. Well, I mean, <laughs> I, 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 the one thing I know, like, because my, my sons are both, you know, t they're not nice size men. Yes. Um, and uh, train them right. You don't have to worry about all of that. You you really don't because once okay. they start getting oh, mm -mm, I might you know I I might have had to um, do a little semi semi something in their teens but for the most part when you got to start them you got to start them young yes, though give them that and let them know that I'm not playing with you mm -hmm. don't play with me and we're gonna be okay that's now right. we're gonna get some love and we're gonna have some fun in this life but that's why I totally enjoyed raising my children because I did not let my children control me. Right. I controlled them, and That's I had right. mine like ducks in a row. Okay. You know, one right after the yeah. other, okay. like bam, bam, bam. See, and that's so what I my mom did. Yeah, honey, they were like the animaniacs. I'm telling you, I was like, you know what? I'm so glad I did it when I was young. Yes. Because um, I probably would have given them away <laughs> <laughs> at this age. <laughs> I'm like, I don't got no patience for this, right? What is this? Um, yeah, so, you know, all you have to do is train them. You got to start at like one, two years old. Because if you don't, they're going to start talking back to you. They're going to start running their mouth and they're going to think that they can get away with them. Um, uh, whatever, and you allow them to do that, and then the world is going to take them because they don't understand consequences. So yes. you've got to teach your children consequences yes. all the time. You can never slip on that. Yes. Cause, never. Cause and effect. And actually, I, I, I got uh, to. had to discipline my daughter yesterday. Good. Because she snuck her uh, American Girl doll to camp. And so while we're in the back seat of the car, she pulls it out and she's like, oh, surprise. I said, no surprise to you. I'll be taking that doll from you. Right. And she started crying. I'm like, okay. Michaela, you have to understand that there are cause and effect. Mm -hmm. right? And you know you're not supposed to take, take that doll. Out of the house. Not an American Girl doll. You can go take that little uh, scruffy doll, but not the American Girl doll. They, they must cost a lot. I don't yes, know. Yes, they do. Oh, uh, with Okay. Like easily a hundred dollars and something. Uh uh. Yes, ma'am. Oh, see, you parents, y'all new age parents, honey. That's a bill. I'm yes. paying my electric bill with that money. We gonna yes. make us some dolls. We we going to the arts and craft store and we gonna make us some dolls. A hundred dollars plus. Girl, plus. okay, okay, but so mm -hmm. she knew that she wasn't supposed to take it out. Yes, of the house. yes, yes. So, I told her that cause and effect, I'm taking the doll away. Mm -mm. And she cried and boo-hooed, but that's the reality of yeah. the situation. That's right. You better listen to mama. That's right. Listen to mama. Okay, so we got PinkSapphireEvents.com. Oh, yes. Okay, so, you know, I, I think that I'm Wonder Woman. Yeah, you and are. <laughs> and I, 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 and I, I can do it all. Da, 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 da. We yeah. all are. You, don't you no. see that muscle right there? Let me show those guns. We are Wonder Women. No, April is too. <laughs> April Wells, Jazz's mom. That's she's Superwoman. 
Right. You're Superwoman. Wonder Woman. You're Wonder Woman. I'm the, the triple and threat th- Shiro. Because right now I'm just wondering how all of this stuff is happening. It's, but it's happening. But let me tell you though, <laughs> we think that it's us, but it's not. It's spirit. Oh, most definitely. Anytime we are growing and and constantly growing it's the most high that's using us as a vessel yes so everything that you're doing is for your a purpose Mm -hmm. and when people stay stuck in one place it's because they're not really fulfilling their destiny they're just these stuck people they don't grow they stay in the same situation year after year after year and then they wonder why they hate their lives yes well you're you're that person that has growth i'm that person that has growth i believe that's why um i don't a lot of people don't stay around me long enough because they don't grow that's they 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 don't grow and if yes. you notice there are only certain people that will stay in your life because they they're growers right. as well yes and then you have people that you just have to say mm, i'm gonna have to let you go yeah so that okay goes back to that expression a reason a season and mm-hmm. a lifetime right yes. so those people that come in and in and out they were there for a reason right for this or for a season, season or some for a lifetime and and it's very few Mm -hmm. for a lifetime very few yeah so let's talk about pink Pink sapphire Mm -hmm. events um in october and actually the date is october 19th Mm -hmm. um we will be doing pamper me pink that's my daddy's birthday oh shout out to your dad peter serrano Mm -hmm. um we will be doing pamper me pink it's Mm -hmm. a night out up for a cause where we'll be raising money for breast cancer awareness yes um and i definitely want to do a shout out to nichelle fox yes um someone contacted her regarding um breast cancer awareness and events and um she said well i know who you should talk to you should talk to shanette and so um Her name is Shadrina. She contacted me and said that she definitely wants to help with uh, the Pamper Me Pink event. Yes. Um, So she will be on board to helping with that. But that is going to be, you know, a great time to educate our community about the perils of breast cancer. Mm -hmm. Um, Mm -hmm. One, one, this, you know, the stats show that one in eight women will be affected with breast cancer. Yes. Right. One in eight. Mm -hmm. And then. And I don't know the percentage right now, but of those, of the one in eight women that will be affected, like the the higher percentage of black women are dying as a result Mm -hmm. of their um, having breast cancer. Mm -hmm. So we definitely want to educate our community to ensure that they get consistent mammograms Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, do all the necessary checks around yes. our tatas. Yes, mm-hmm. definitely got to take care of the tatas. I work very closely with Nichelle Fox. On um, mm-hmm. August 14th, we're doing our prettiest pink here on Tar TV. Yes. Um, and then we have an October and then we have October, November, then we have a December. So we we're already booked out. Yes. We were booked out from last year for prettiest pink. Um, for August 14th, um, you are more than welcome to come if you want to come and plug your October 19th show. Uh, if you want to come and talk with us about why, uh, you, um, put on your event and what's your purpose right. um we have about 15 minutes in the show so we want to get steve moore on and i want to talk about trayvon okay all right i, I think that's real important yes. that we take these last uh minutes with jasmine uh, our teen arts reporter uh steve moore in the common sense corner you and i and let's have a discussion about trayvon yes okay let's do it. okay so you can reach um miss shawnette sap Hicks <laughs> at uh, Pamper Me Pink yep. Events so, dot com. Um, yes, and you can also reach me at uh, Pink Sapphire Events dot com, or you can reach me at Sashi Hair dot com. Okay, so we'll be right back right after these messages. You're logged on to Mimi Johnson dot net, the arts reporter, your arts reporter, where we focus on arts, entertainment, entrepreneurs, and inspirational life stories. We'll be right back. Mwah. Ta-ta. If you give me some time, I'll make you mine. You are so divine, you make me shine. And every time I'm with you, my heart starts racing. Since the first time I caught a glance of you 
reporter oh Seanette what what are you thinking about um, about Trayvon well a lot of people didn't know that his father was a retired judge right so he he's he's received a lot of privileges that are that are not I should say granted or privy to those that have someone that has that type of power figure in their family, right? So he's gotten away with... No, we, that's Zimmerman. I mean, Zimmerman, yes. I thought you meant the whole situation. Okay, yeah, yeah, well, go yes. ahead. Keep it keep So moving. Zimmerman has gotten away with disrespecting police, mm -hmm. disorderly conduct, mm -hmm. right? Domestic violence, all because his father is a judge. Or, or or was a is a retired judge right right so I think that that prevailed in this case the fact that it's a good old boy system and the good old boys took care of their son mm. right just totally overlooked and 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 neglected the reality of the fact that a young whether he was innocent or not 
kid, they just strip his ability to be able to walk down the street. Right. They just stripped his ability to go get a bag of Skittles. Right. They just stripped his ability to go and get some tea from the store and walk home and take a shortcut. Mm. Nothing about it is right. Right? We all know that. Nothing about what happened was right. Mm -hmm. um, and I think that in court, it was a fight between the law, which is stand your ground, mm -hmm. versus those that are, you know, want to, you know, stick behind it and those that are against it. Mm -hmm. To me, that's what we fought against in court. We didn't fight against, you know, having justice served for this young boy, Trayvon Martin, mm -hmm. right? Because, I mean, when I think about it, how does one get killed simply from walking down the street? And it's okay. How can anyone think that's okay? Well, let's let um, Steve Mora in the Common Sense Corner answer that. Do I frighten you, America? Do I? Black man, shaved head, earring, hoodie. Okay. What about now? Do I now? What? Common sense corner? I'm going to touch on injustice in America continues. And I would like you to know that black life does matter. It matters to me. It matters to our generations. It matters to a lot of people in this country. The Malcolm X Grass Movement Project has found that at least 136 unarmed black men and youth have been killed by police, security guards, and self-appointed vigilantes like George Zimmerman. Now, touching on that for a minute, Jura B47, whoever she was, you stated that you went with the not guilty because you couldn't find anything in the law. The law said that you could not vote guilty. You could have voted guilty because there's right and there's wrong. Right. You could have voted guilty. You could have been that hung juror. Now, I would like to ask uh, our U.S. attorney, Eric Holder, to step up your game. Please don't end up and become Uncle Clarence Thomas. Step up your game mm -hmm. because you have the power to prosecute this man for civil rights violations. Now, just to go for a little back, May of 2012, a 13-year-old boy, Darius Simmons, was shot at point-blank range in front of his home with his mother watching by his 76-year-old white neighbor because the neighbor thought he broke in his house and stole his shotguns. And just an update mm -hmm. on that, he was convicted because he went to trial right after George Zimmerman. After the verdict, two days after the verdict, he went to trial, and the update, he was sentenced to life in prison. But, I mean, I don't think the man has much time left anyway. Uh, I don't know if anyone heard about this. Now, Darius was in Milwaukee. Walton Henry Bolton, a uh, butler, a white man, 59 years old, in Port St. Lucie, he expressed indignation after he was arrested on July 30th for shooting a black man in the head and explained to the police that he only shot, and excuse my words, I'm not going to bite my tongue, a nigger. Mm. Hey, I only shot a nigger, so what? He shot the 32-year-old Everett Grant, who came to his apartment to confront him about racial slurs and comments towards children in the apartment complex. Really, America? Is this ever going to stop? And I'm not done. Marissa Ann, uh, Alexander, Jacksonville, Florida. Uh, Florida? Florida, come on now, sentenced to 20 years for firing a gun in her home into the wall to ward off her abusive husband, who had a long history of domestic violence. He even admitted in an interview mm. that he beat all of his women, and he was beating his present wife while she was pregnant. She was convicted when her child was nine days old and sentenced to 20 years. And the funny thing about it, the same state prosecutor that prosecuted George Zimmerman in the Trayvon case was the same prosecutor that prosecuted her. But he won this one. But you couldn't win uh, with Zimmerman. 
and all she did was kill a wall. She didn't mm. kill a person. Last but not least, Michael Dunn, 45, of Brevard County, shot Jordan Davis, 17, of Jacksonville, after asking a car full of teens at a gas station to turn down their radio. There was an exchange mm. of words. They refused to turn it down, and he shot into a car full of teens, killing the 17-year-old boy. That story you can find in Daily News. The story with Mar uh, Marissa Alexander, go to CNN.com find that one but black life does matter and once again mr holder step up your game get in there get zimmerman prosecuted for civil rights violation because it's going to be a point to where we're going to say you know what we've had enough right i love martin but i am more malcolm and that's common sense and i'm done mm -hmm. Okay, Jazz, you know, because I know that um, as a young uh, lady, you uh, are feeling a certain kind of way right now about how our youth um, uh, is being killed. And so what, what is your outlook on it and what do you think should be done? I, first of all, I think it's actually a shame touching on what Mr. Steve Moore said that our lives, black people's lives are... In a, in a sense, less valuable than like a dog's. Cause you know, Michael Vick was <laughs> arrested for dog fighting, killing dogs. And then Zimmerman comes, kills an unarmed teenage boy and, mm. is, and can walk. He can walk free mm. in Florida. And it's just an absolute shame because you know, I think about what if that was one of my brothers, my brother, my older brother who's 16, likes to go out, wear hoodies, he wears hoodies a lot in the summertime, in the fall, and like he, he could have been one of those kids just walking down the street. Mm -hmm. What if that was my brother, you know? And it's just a shame how people can have no remorse about what they do. They have absolutely no shame about what he did, and they can sit there and they can go to sleep at night knowing that he took somebody's life. He took a brother, he took a friend, he took a son. Yes. And he can just walk. How how is that? Why? Why? And you know, um as a teenager, you know, we're wondering this is the kind of world we live in. This is what we see every day. How are we going to we have to make a difference, you know? It's a lot. It's just it's it painful. blows my mind, yeah. It's yeah. Painful. So with that being said, we are at the end of our show. I'd like to thank my beautiful cast, Steve Moore and Jasmine Wells, and our wonderful co-host and guest, Miss Shawnette, Shawnette Sapp Hicks. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, thank you to all of our um, chatters. Real quick, Diva JC, uh, Bird, and I'm um, Al. Scroll down just a little bit there. I think we've got we got Eric Williams, we've got Dad Dothan, we've got Dad Dothan, Alabama. Hey, Dad. Hey. Um, hey, so Daddy. both of our parents are there. <laughs> Yay! And um, we just want to say thank you so much for mm -hmm. um, coming in and chatting with us. I don't think we missed anyone. And for those of you that are. Um, here with us and are not in the chat room you are more than welcome to come into the chat room and chat with us um we don't gonna don't shout you shy. out don't right. be shy you can always have an anonymous name right <laughs> <laughs> so you're tuned in to the arts reporter your arts reporter god bless uh trayvon martin all of his family we um send so much love and um honor to you um and your family just god bless you um so you're tuned into the arts reporter your arts reporter where we focus on arts entertainment entrepreneurs and inspirational life stories on mimijohnson.net every wednesday it goes down right here at 7 p.m and on three we're gonna say tartar one two three tartar, tartar.
Yeah. 